Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and today I'm joined by Nick, George, and Ivan. If you're seeing this game for the first time and you'd like to learn how to play, you can check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist, which will give you everything you need to get started. Link to it will be in the video description. Now before we start our game for today, let's go around the table and introduce the decks that we'll be playing, starting with Nick. All right, this week I've chosen Bailey, Scrapyard Worker. Uh, a relatively new champion who just loves destroying items. Usually what you want to do with items is like keep them around, use them to your advantage, but Bailey just wants to scrap them. She says, uh, throw them in the heap, I can use my hammer on them, and uh, she just has fun blowing stuff up. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Very cool. Next up, we have George. Hey everybody, I'm here with my Neo Force deck, and it's a combination of blue and red offensive power. I'm using Grindon, the personal trainer, as my unique denizen champion for today here to show you guys how overwhelming power can be overcome any obstacle even masters at this game Ooh, scary let's go jaken all right ivan what are you playing today hey what's up guys today i'll be playing janila and hopefully i'll be ramping 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 until i can get an amazing board stay and win from there ah ramp city over there and finally, we have me playing Tren Academy Professor. So I'm essentially playing the polar opposite deck from George today. I'm going to be trying to go really defensive, keep my denizens safe, and see if a good defense can beat out a good offense. All right, so with the intros out of the way, mulligans have been complete, and we're ready to start the game. Go ahead, George. Okay, opening move. I take one gold. Let's go with the hidden crag. Nice. Sh swing. And just to make things interesting, let's just play it now. Quiet path, draw a card. Um, look at top, first card. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. I drew my, I already did my free draw. We'll just have to end our turn. All right then, let's get started. I'll be going up one gold. And for my opening play, I think I'll play Hidden Thicket. Ooh, another hidden. And I'll take my free draw. Oof, that was, that was a pretty good card. Mm. And I'll be putting a counter on my Hidden Thicket. Nice. On my turn. All right, so my turn. I'll go ahead and play a Hidden Cave. We've all got hidden locations. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and spend one gold to put a search counter on it, take my free draw for the turn, and pass that way. All right. Well, to the surprise of nobody, I will start with a Hidden Flower Patch. <laughs> I don't know if I want to charge it. Let's take my free draw first. Yeah, it's, it's getting charged. Charge it up. Take all right, gold, everyone's anyway. playing Hiddens today. I think the meta needs to shift back into uh, obstructive roadblock meta. Uh oh. I'm at six cards. Uh, let's draw a card. Um, okay, I guess we're gonna have to do this. I plan for the future. Not bad. Put one card at the bottom of my deck, <clears throat> and, and I put this in an active zone. And I'm out of gold, so now it's Ivan's turn. Oh, so it is. Let's go up to gold. Gentlemen, you know what's better than one hidden thicket? Two hidden that thickets, I know. of course. <laughs> oh, man. I'll take my There's going to be draw. a third one, and we know we're not going to see it coming. <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully not. Let's see. That's actually really interesting. <laughs> now, I wish I could say, you know what's better than two hidden thickets? <laughs> but unfortunately, in this game, you can't play three hidden thickets. Yeah. So We'll disqualify you. Don't even try. I'll play Hidden Flower Patch. Hidden's oh, all the way down. man. We got to start playing Obstructive Roblox again. I think I'll end my turn like that. Um, drew my free draw. Mm, put two counters. Yeah, that's everything I can do. I'll pass turn. All right. Get my goal for the turn. Play my location. Draw a card. I'll go ahead and put a search counter on my Hidden Cave to go up to three gold and use that gold to play Iron Watcher's Vigilance. And mm. that'll be my turn. Pass like that. All right. My gold. Uh, start with a decorated path. Use the arrival ability to look at the top. One card. Nice. Do I want it? Do I want it? Yeah, we'll leave it there. And use my free draw for the turn to get it. And then what's out on the board? Must be a good card if you so, left it up there. I mean, it's all, it's all right. Cards. So yeah, we'll we'll use two gold this turn for Craftsman's Apprentice. Ah, oh, that's a good card. Now you just need obstructive roadblock on your next turn, and you can start. <laughs> yeah, shut them all down. <laughs> Alvin, back to you. Okay, so. I add a counter here that gives me four gold, which means I can play the Astute Scholar. Cool. Ooh. 
There so is much too. card draw. Let's see. What do I want to stop? What is what is the biggest threat on the field? I just gotta make sure. <laughs> I see a lot going on over here. I see a lot going on over here. Um, is there anything Wait, I can gonna... to stop that? Just gotta make sure. I just want to consider all my options with my last remaining gold. You gonna play three obstructive roadblocks? No, 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 no. I mean, I could, but I don't want to do that. Um, <laughs> he could. <laughs> hold on. How did hold you... on. Wait. Did you say three what? obstructive roadblocks? Hold on. Do I have to be honest about everything in my hand? Like, what are we? Are we playing a game or? <laughs> Use Judge. trickery. Ah, uh, nice. My Denzian had become crafty. There he goes. And now I still have my free draw. Make sure to keep track of your gold as well. Now I'm at zero. That is my turn. Very nice. Thank well, I'll you. I'll start off my turn with a free draw. Ooh, what a nice card. Well, gentlemen, I think the time has come to go up to six gold. Uh, He's blowing it all at once? You I'm know, sorry. And I'll play a work the fields, but oh, do you no. guys know what's better than one work the fields? No! no! Are you serious? Two work the fields. He did wow. tell us he was going to rent, right. so I guess no. this is... Yeah, I mean, he said that. That's what he said. This is like, I explicitly said this. Mm -hmm. It's true. He has this had, might be he a, has had time. This might be a it's quick true. game, folks. He's not wrong. I'm uh, abandon this hidden flower patch and take Yugi a Moto has minute. shown his hand. Mm, I think I'll pass like that. All right. Get my gold for turn. Put a phase counter. Draw a card. So let's start with Royal Treasurer, and we'll give him the Iron Watcher's Vigilance, uh, which will unlock his synergy ability. So I'll go ahead and get my three gold like that. Uh, I'll play a Harmless Kitten for two and ask for no. donations for one. Uh, and then I'll play a uh, statue of the wise teacher. I'll give a plus one to the harmless kitten. And then I'll go ahead and abandon this to draw a card. And I'll pass like that. Go ahead, Nick. All right. Game my gold. Uh, we're not at full, so let's start with a free draw. It's kind of what I was wanting. I think we will use the hidden flower patch, put another search counter on it, and go up a gold. Pay full price for a family heirloom. <laughs> Not usual, but I think it's good this turn because I will use a routine to make a copy of it. Mm -hmm. oh. That's rough. Uh, maybe for you. <laughs> for me, yes. Yeah. Maybe. This blacksmith is really good at um, pottery as well for some reason. I will immediately sell one. He's a craftsman's apprentice. They make all sorts of things. True. It's his, uh, yeah, it's his, it's his hobby. We should, we're pretty sure it at work, but at home, he likes to make pottery. Okay, anyway, so we'll sell it. Go back to four gold. Play Yumi for three. <sighs> And play Hidden Crag. All right, so that's three card types. Location. Yeah, so three card types and three cards overall. Inspiration is unlocked. I do have a gold. Charge the Hidden Crag with another search counter for my last gold. Use Yumi's Inspiration to score points equal to the number of card types on cards that I played, which is three. And since that was three, I will put an artwork token into play. <sighs> Crazy. Jeez. Now, I do have a chance to make an attack, but... It got Iron Vigilanced, and the cat can't attack, and Crafty would just be worthless. So let's let's not get aggressive and pass the turn. Okay, we're at four gold here, people. Four gold. Black Mora Powder! I don't want that... Wait, should I be targeting... Should I be targeting this? You can target anyone you want. Because I know... I personally know that, this, that the cat, Harmless Kitten is hard to get rid of. I mean, if I'm getting instructions that this that she's that strong, and from score points equal to the number of card types among cards you've oh to be, to be oh. fair, Nick would, Nick would have to play the cards though, and he only has four in hand. He's gonna go up to five. So he's going to have debatable. eight gold on his next turn. Yeah, yeah, maybe nine. All right, I guess we'll have to use it on Yumi. On, on Yumi, we'll have all right, to, well, mm -hmm. we're gonna have to. So Yumi will yeah. forget her previous lifestyle as a painter and just. Wonder what she's in the room with all these pretty, pretty paintings. And then I use embolden, very cool. nice, and make my astute scholar tenacious, crafty and tenacious. Wowzers. Mm -hmm. Tenacious. Free draw. Okay. Okay. So then I will abandon it and I will draw a card. And it's a good card because it's the statue of the wise teacher. Cool. Very nice. And this is the most swole, astute yeah. scholar to ever live. Yep. <laughs> I think that row of that old dude is just jacked. 
<laughs> Getting nah. jacked. Three, two, crappy, and tenacious, I... astute scholar. And we're passing turn because I think that's all. That's everything else I got. Very nice. I'll go up to uh, counter one on each work the fields and go up to four gold. Uh, let's start off my turn by taking my free draw. And I'll be playing, I'll be using both of my work the fields mm -hmm. to come in diligent farmers. Let's see, I'll be using both the abilities of diligent farmers to gain a gold each, going up to six. Crazy. Um, I'll play second diligent farmer. Use a diligent third? farmer, yeah, to go up to five. I will abandon one of my hidden thickets to draw a card. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, let's play and explore the unknown for two gold and a killer bee for one gold. Okay. And I don't have enough to actually do anything else with the two remaining gold. So I think I'll have to end my turn like that. All right. Pull out that yeah, board. Okay, my goal for turn. Put counters on. Use my free draw. Go ahead and use my ask for donations. Um, all right. So hoping everyone will do their part to <laughs> slow down Ivan a little bit because he's just ramping like crazy. So Iron Watcher's <laughs> Vigilance gives a denizen this can't be attacked but it does not prevent them from attacking. So I'm going to go ahead and attack one of your diligent farmers. I guess the real one here uh, with my... The real diligent farmer. Yeah. With that. Only the realist. Um, all right. And then I will use plan to the future just to take a look at my options. Um, okay. Let's go like that. Draw a card. And then I will play Astute Scholar. And then I'll go ahead and put uh, Iron Watcher's Vigilance on the Astute Scholar, uh, unlocking this, letting me draw two cards. And then I'll go ahead and use the Astute Scholar to draw myself two cards. Uh, I'll go ahead and drop a Grand Gate and use its arrival ability to draw a card. And then I'll go ahead and use my last goal to play Safety Regulations. And Very nice. I'll go ahead and abandon this location to draw a card and pass like that. All right, my gold ticks up, and I'll start with a free draw. Interesting, interesting. Well, since Yumi is not going to stick around and do anything else, mm. I don't imagine she's going to remember her old self, I'm going to start by making an attack to, to deal with this, this worker. <laughs> We're just flooding the fields with workers. It's too many. <laughs> so they, like they, so, uh, they trade, yeah. so themselves off. She lives on in her artwork, though. Yes. She will always be remembered. Immortalized. And the points that we gained along the way, you know? <laughs> uh, okay. I do get to make another attack. Let's instead start by abandoning a decorated path to draw one more card. Decent. Okay. Um, definitely don't want my guy to become hostile. So we will use Restraining Order. Yeah. I'll make a copy of Restraining Order hmm. with the routine ability of Craftsman's Apprentice. I will use one of them to banish... All Hostile right. royal treasurer. Mm, there you very go. nice. So trying to trying to deal with some of the gold generation on the other side of the board all around. Two more gold left. I could sell an item. I won't have any more pots to copy, but they're in sort of a perilous situation as they are. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll invest in the future. We'll sell the family heirloom to go up to six. Wowzers. It's, it's coming along. Bowser. Inside Bowsers. story. <laughs> Wowzers, Bowsers. <laughs> Well said. Keep playing, keep gaining some points, huh? Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Scoring points. We'll play. We'll play. Like score we'll play Bailey. They Everyone never expect points. it more than once. Play Bailey. We'll play Restless Pyromaniac for another two. We will use Restless Pyromaniac to blow up my own item. The copy of Restraining Order. Oh, look at that! Good for you. Not not getting rid of Yumi's legacy. Wow. Yeah, it might gain me more gold. It might be an attractive target attack. Who knows? But we're gonna we're gonna make this choice. Yeah, we'll gain four points thanks to Bailey's ability. She's just hyped when things get destroyed. She's like, high five, pyromaniac. Mm. You're my kind of dude. Final gold, training dummy. Nice. Mm. Keep the items coming. And I think that's it. Complicated turn, but we're past. So for my opening move, I would like to play combat instructor. Oh, uh, it's gonna cost you five gold. Oh, you sorry. Location. You know, you know why? Because I just gonna play uh, okay. location. So you play that and then that. Got it. Right. Then I play that. 
that boosts me to one, two. What a oh, swole scholar. Right? I don't believe I drew a card. Nope. Let me you draw haven't. one now. Let's abandon this, put Hidden Waterfall down, and play a plan for the future. Ah, another one. Cool. And then I mm. check out first three cards. The denizens are aggressive, but thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Think before you attack. Put my, one of my cards at the bottom of my deck, and the other two I left, and I draw a card. He's got all the abilities in the world, all the power in the world. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's target Bailey, the cool. scrapyard worker. You can do that. All right, and no uh, damage will be taken because he has two, two, <laughs> two abilities that would prevent the damage. And I believe that is all of my turn. Your turn. Very nice. I put some counters on my work the fields. Go up to five gold. And I'll take my turn draw. That's pretty good. I wish it was better though. <laughs> let's play Verdant Path. Um, let's look at the top part of my deck. I don't want that right now, so I'll put that at the bottom. Yeah, let's abandon this Verdant and draw a card. Interesting. Let's use this Hidden Thicket to look at the top three cards of my deck. I think you might explore the unknown. And I'll put this card into my hand, shuffle the rest. Play Quiet Path. Oh, thank you. Thank you for putting that counter. <laughs> I will... There's two Diligent Farmer token. I'll be go using each one of their abilities to go up a gold each. Uh, I have a lot of different options here. We are on turn five, and there's a lot of things going on already. Well, I'm not sure if I should keep ramping or not. <laughs> I don't know if it's too late. What but... you wanted it to do? Just keep going. That is, that to the is moon. true. Hmm. I, that is true. Ramps. <laughs> but you like know spots. what? I think I will take that advice. I think <laughs> I'll keep ramping. <laughs> Play efficient workflow flow for, for gold. I'll be playing Junila for three. One, two, three. And I'll be playing History of Education for one. Mm. And this B is looking to attack someone. So, Alvin, will yes. Deadly go through... Crafty? No, because the damage will not be dealt, and therefore, Deadly will do nothing. I see. There's a Craftsman Apprentice. Jenny, yeah, that's pretty scary. And you already have points next, don't you? I got seven. Yeah. I'm on the board. Not yeah, feeling that's... as lucky as I would in private. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, let's run this B into that Craftsman, because it's what? Really right. troublesome for me. And, yeah, I think I'll... In my turn like that. All right. Get my goal for turn. Put counters in all my campaigns. Draw a card for turn. So go ahead and play Private Tutor and put the Iron Watcher's Vigilance ability on Private Tutor, completing the campaign. Then I'll go ahead and play Safeguard for one Scout Hawk and Court Advisor. Um, all right, and then I'm going to go ahead and use Ask for Donations to get one more gold. Uh, use that gold to put Search Counter on this location. And then I will go ahead and put Safety Regulations on these two denizens. And then I will have my Astute Scholar attack into... Ah, does it matter now at this point? He's got so much gold. <laughs> That's uh, even the point great anymore. Question. Nick or me? <laughs> What? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, it's dude. You're gonna have Bro, one, two, three, three nine. Nah, it's not looking good for you, George. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So okay. So here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Ivan is going to have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven gold with this. I'm not even think about it, Alvin. Does he's, it really even matter now? He's probably going to. He's <laughs> listen. He's probably going to win in one single turn unless we do something about it. So I'm gonna do my part, and I'm just gonna you know hope that you guys in good faith see the crazy threat that's on board and do something too. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my astute scholar hostile to get rid of one single diligent farmer. This one here. Okay. I'll lose one health as a result, and then yeah, I I just hope. You guys do the right thing. I'll pass it over to you, Nick. All right. I am aware of the power of the Junila deck. I don't know if 20 points could come out of that without, like, 
item shenanigans. So I'm not quite as worried as you, especially considering that I have points. But we'll we'll think about it. I'll start with a free draw. I'm very tempted to do a certain thing, but it's not a good thing. Certainly not when both of you are so poised. I think this is the best I can do. So uh, with one gold, we'll start by searching on the hidden crag to go up two gold. And we'll sell the artwork token. Nice. To very good. It wasn't destroyed. It wasn't scrapped. It was sold. And we'll That's live great. on. Great storyline. Particular for fondness for the art. We'll, yes. we'll leave it at that. Uh, and the reason why is, I will start with a wholehearted dedication, Ooh. Oh, which is a very no. selfish, not interactive play at all. Wow. Okay. Oh, my well, You can make up for it He's by about bombing. to win the game. You can make up for it by attacking with it and bombing something. Come on, you're going to score like a I, million I think points I next turn. One, well, you know, you can get rid of this. Uh, one goal will be a for destructive roadblock. Nice, to, uh, nice, nice. To help charge up. Oh, wait, he doesn't have a charge waiting. I mean, he doesn't have a search <laughs> waiting. You do. Exactly. I do, yeah, admittedly, I do. Exactly. All right, well, that's not All what right, I All right, fair enough. Have. Okay, well, we'll use the last gold to bomb. So a diligent farm is one gold, but Junila is just more. So we'll bomb Junila. Oh, you don't want to attack, <laughs> I see. Oh, true. Yeah. Really um, I mean, I promise you I won't target you with any hostile removal because I'm I'm just, like, scared you'll win in one turn, guys. Like, real talk, I'm not I'm not looking at anyone else right now. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, except hmm. me now that I played Wholehearted Dedication. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's true. So, yeah, well, that's true. We'll bomb a farmer and okay. sure. make an attack to Janila. Uh, Janila to yeah, sure. Same difference to be well, same difference. <laughs> I was not even worried. Yeah. Am I out of a need for purple? Should I abandon to draw? I mean, you played arguably the best purple card ever. <laughs> arguably, <laughs> one could say that. You know, I what? know you only you only YOLO once, so let's <laughs> you only love you YOLO only once. You only YOLO once. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Yeah. This man said shadows YOLO twice. <laughs> you he only said, YOLO uh, once. He said you YOLO YOLO. <laughs> oh, I love it. Let's uh, let's just be happy with that. We we did as many turn actions as we could. Pass the turn on you. Cool. Dude. All right, crazy. Um, we are at stock up six gold. Okay. Man, you're worried about me. I think Nick might win Man. next turn coming up for him. But it depends, right? If uh, he has no items. What? I don't. What? What? I have denizens I'm that can attack my into champion. his items. And George also has denizens that can attack into his items. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if he attacks into them. All right. So you play Grindon so... and Battlecry. Okay. I assume your two targets yeah. are with us. One, two. One, two. Grindon and Battlecry puts me to zero. Mm hmm. Draw a card, and I will use my Astute Scholar to target... I can use it to destroy your training dummy. Okay. Actually, no, I'll use it to destroy your... I'll destroy, I'll destroy your obstructive roadblock. With this? Wait, no, I'll... No, yeah, I'll use the Astute Scholar to destroy the training dummy, mm -hmm. and I will use my Combat Art. Instructor... To destroy your obstructive roadblock. Okay. All right, you're earning favors yeah, here, not, George. I'm. It's not. It's not bad. I'm super not looking at you um, now because that that was a very nice thing for you to do. And what, need to add. Yep, and turn that hot. And that's very, that's very nice I, of you, George. No worries. Um, you end your turn. Score three points for each of your citizens you control that didn't enter your active zone this turn. Has four more power. Is that? That's six points for you. That means I'm passing my turn, and we are on the board. Let's go. Beautiful. Okay, Alvin. For about okay. half a half a turn. All right. Let's see, okay, Ivan. Are you gonna win the game in one turn? No. No. Are you guys like? Oh. You guys are pretty safe here. Probably. You get. Uh, I'll take with my this, free draw. Card draw. No, I'm probably not gonna win this turn. You guys are fine. Uh, I'll use all my diligent farmers to go up to three. Yep, let's go up to nine. Let's use my library draw to see what we. Yes, I'll be using efficient workflow activated, and I'll put this marker to indicate its usage. Mm -hmm. uh, I've taken my free draw. Let's put play grand fish marker with its brand new uh, colored co colored artwork. Beautiful. And and mm. draw a card. 
That's interesting. As Look well. at that. He's at a full hand. He hasn't even used this yet. He hasn't even abandoned. He has nine gold uh, with a. I look at. I use my start. um. Tagging his lands. Explore the unknown. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. I'll take this card and put it into my hand. A full. Oh, these are gone, by the way, Ivan. Right. Thank you. Diligent farmer. Another one, eh? For one gold. I use it. I, How is yeah. this possible? Oh wait, that's right. I pay one gold. Yeah, one gold, and, and then use it to believe to go up one. Yes, that's right. How is this possible? <laughs> Are you tired of my diligent farmers already? Then I feel like he played nothing else. <laughs> that's right. Uh, just as a Six, precautionary. Eight. There's been eight diligent thing. farmers. I've counted. Hypothetically, that's it's impossible to have more unless you start copying them. But eight is all we're gonna see. Um, hopefully. Let's play. I think this is the right play. I'll play Killer B for one gold. Hmm. I'll all play right. Janila for two gold. I forgot to abandon, but I'll do that now. Oh. And draw a card. I see. That doesn't change much. I guess let's play my Keen Info Traders for three gold. Mm-hmm. And you uh, score four points. Let's see that. that and I'll score four points on the summon using Janila. Um, let's look at your. I'm gonna use the rival effect of Keen yeah. Infiltrator. So just to look just let us know which card you want, and then we'll remove it. Thank you. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of this watchtower. All right, scout and eunuch. Do you have an item? You have two items. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's get public information. You don't have to tell them that. I mean, that's not public information. <laughs> If I ping this, can you, um... You can say what the item you want is. Just, if you announce what my entire hand is, it's like, that's a different ability. I guess you're free to do that. Yeah, you are free to do no, that. I... It's like, yeah. Oh, it, it okay, is... but this card is gonna be, um, returned to the deck anyways, right? Oh, I guess it matters, but uh, can you see this ping? Yeah. The item? Okay, this card specifically. Okay. I put Dr. Smashington into the inactive zone. Yes. Thank you. And I'll be looking at your hand, George. Whoa! Um, let's see what's relevant here. Investigating my hand. I don't care for that. <laughs> he just wants to know. This one. This one's probably the most impactful. So I'll what? This one. Yeah. No! Don't tell them what. Oh, to get rid of this one? Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, what he gets rid of is public God. knowledge, but he doesn't have to yeah. tell it what is? else is in his hand. But he can use it for diplomatic. You know, he can say, "Hey, guys, he has this or whatever." Oh, okay. If, for the if politics. If it's public knowledge, yeah. then, I'm, then I'm returning battle cry. Yeah, you'll always be able to look at my inactive zone. So, like, if somebody's just about to go there, and I don't. You don't you have. Like, you don't. You don't have to worry, Nick. I wasn't gonna reveal the other cards in your okay. hand. Yeah. But um, you technically can. Like, if you want to play politics, right? Yeah. But you don't. You don't I'll have to. It's not part of the rules. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's play cunning strategist now. And since wait, I you still have gold to do that? From, yeah, I had three extra gold. Okay. Yeah. And so you're gonna score four, four points on the summon. Yeah. Using the two, three, yeah, that's true. He had nine ability. Gold, so three, okay. three, three. He did have enough, yeah. So now it just depends on what I want to return to hand. Uh, you're the biggest threat right now, Alvin. So I guess I'll have to do something about all right. Scout Hawk is gone, got it, or a Stute Scholar. That'd be good too. I think Court Advisor is probably the most relevant one. Here Which one, yeah, because it's, it's a routine. This one? okay, yeah. Let's do Court, yeah, okay. And I think that's everything I can do for the moment. I can't win the game. I'll win. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I think partly is because everyone did their part, for which they earned many favors. I'm not looking at anyone. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Except for um, you, Ivan. I, I summoned this B this turn, right? I yes, did, you did. Correct. Yeah. Everything's yeah, new. Like one farmer. I think one farmer was out. No, these two. Oh, no, wait, one oh, farmer Nick is right. Out. Only one yeah. farmer was out. One All these farmer. guys came. Do I run to run this farmer into anything? <laughs> Let's see here. Um, actually, it may come up that... Uh, I don't know. Well, let's see. Is there anything I can run into for you? You have Watchtower's Vigilance on that Scholar, huh? Hey, man. Uh, he's studying. Leave him alone. <laughs> True. Big test tomorrow. I, I think I'll just pass my turn. All right. Get my counters. Uh, yeah, I, I was looking forward to my um, court advisor, but I think you rightfully got rid of that. So I'll go ahead and use this now. Go up to one gold. That completes that campaign. I'll use my free draw. 
So I'll play to keep, to keep track Grand Lecture Hall. I'll go ahead and use its ability to draw a card. Hmm. I'll go ahead and play... Actually, you know what? Let's abandon this to get one more look. Draw a card. We're going to play Royal Treasurer. And then we're going to have Steadfast give the Steadfast ability to Scout Hawk. So okay. he now has an ability and that will unlock Royal Treasurer. So I'll go ahead and use that to get two more gold. I'll go ahead and play this card here, Grand Gate, and draw a card. Oh yeah, Insight is now unlocked, perfect. So I'll go ahead and play this card here. Oh boy. Which you already knew about. And then- oh, me? Couldn't be, then who? <laughs> oh, you had another? Or yeah, I had another, one? yeah. So he saw two of them, he got rid of one of them. And then one's enough. I was yeah. very relieved when he said, "Yeah, but I had I'm two sitting much in my hand." Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll use one gold to put a search counter in this. Go back up to five, uh, and then I will play Mi Champions, Mr. Trend, and then I'll play Toll Collector with my last gold, uh, and a card was put into my hand via an effect. So I'll go ahead and activate Watchtower Scout's ability to give all these guys. Let's just use this. All these guys perceptive until my next turn uh then now i'll go ahead and use this to let's see what do i want to do here i guess uh one two one two like that um or maybe like this on my royal treasurer why not protect the money right uh all right <laughs> uh let's see uh so definitely the bird can attack i'm just gonna attack into your mm -hmm. oh man the thing is Letting you have another turn of all <laughs> that. Just as scary next turn as it was this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just, again, I'm just going to do my part because I know I know what a Juniel that can do if you give it too much resources. So uh, I'm going to attack this into one Diligent Farmer. I'm not going to take any damage because Steadfast. And how many farmers have you guys ran into? Uh, not enough. <laughs> and then this guy will attack into this. Oh, wait. Yeah, this. So I'll lose one health as a result, but totally worth it. And yeah. also become hostile. All right. And then now I will end my turn scoring one, two, three, four points. Uh, four times two points. So I'll go up to eight and pass like that. Well, they've overtaken me. In <laughs> so let's see how this goes. We will get gold, take whole, whole heart dedication up, and take a free draw for the turn. Um. I don't know, what are the things that we could do? I think we'll start with a familiar road and print it to purple. Is there a purple colored marker? Uh, there's magenta. That's, that's... Uh, you yeah. can also just put a... Just, here, yeah, I'll, I'll put a reminder for you. Probably not actually not long for this world. Oh, okay. Because uh, <laughs> I'm I, I, debating being crap, you know, but I, there's not many turns left, so we'll just play the other purple aligned. We'll abandon familiar road. Draw. Interesting, interesting. I gotta take take advantage of this wholehearted dedication. So yeah, it's champion. just a race at this point, right? If yeah, if you can't get rid of stuff anymore, just race. That's eight points per hey. scrap. That's really really strong point gain. Yeah, I might have been able to do it with that Doctor Smashington, but <laughs> I will have Restless Pyromaniac spend one on him to deal two damage to the training dummy, which destroys it, and gains me eight points. That's so crazy. Yep. And he's going to do the same sort of attacking he did last time into Janila to tax you for two gold at least. What he can do. Very his, nice. His assistance. Ooh, damage, bro. Should have gotten rid of that card a long time ago. I have to evaluate one more thing. I'm still not convinced that Ivan can maybe win next turn. And I'm sure that Alvin can. Mm. Yeah, so let's see. I'm one, two, three, four, Black five, Powder. Six, not a spy that anything uh, to there say you go. about Yep, it. yep, yep. Yeah, we're, and we're, gonna, we're, we're Very all good against Trend. Yeah, I'm going to use Blackmore Powder and sacrifice it. For the greater good. Or it's not really a sacrifice, right? I'll use Blackmore Powder's little ability to have a Watchtower Scout. Yep. Lose all abilities. abilities. <laughs> Man, you're supposed to be keeping a lookout, not doing drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope for crazy draws. Pass turn. Yeah. It's unlikely I'm going to win next turn unless I get the, the best top deck ever. Okay. Drew, I am going to put... Pull out my watchtower scout. <laughs> yeah, you got one too. And that puts. Did so that cost you three gold? Yes, sir. I use my astute scholar to destroy your tran. Okay. 
Uh, he's perceptive, so you're going to have to use both of your attacks to get rid of Tren, if that's your goal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then I will. Okay. Well, Grindon can also make an attack if you'd like another one. Yes, I would. Who are you attacking with? Grindon. Mm. Grindon. And two? I'm going to attack... Farmer. Okay. Wait. Hold. Hold on. If uh, you don't attack, if you don't attack into it, I won't use insight or any of my following uh, abilities on your denizens. If that works for you, George. That's a terrible deal. And also, and also, you also you'll be putting your your Grindin on a uh, one health, which would be kind of. That's gonna happen either way. Yeah. I think it's worth yeah. it though, because he can just replay him again next turn. Debatable. I mean, up to you. Well, I mean, George. I'm about to up be ahead to of you. It sounds like he needs I'm, that one extra goal to win the win the game next turn, George. I think you better get rid of nah. this farmer. Yeah, nah. I feel like I should destroy it. I should destroy that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ivan. I just I wanna. I wanna. I'm trying to win. I wanna see if I can win. So I end my. Oh, turn don't don't forget you have a Grindon. You can oh. buff buff power. Like maybe you can buff her if you want. Oh, I. Oh, right. I have routine set up. Okay, yep. yeah. Let's boost uh, Watchtower Scout. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and then I think you're gonna. When you end your turn, you're gonna score six points. Pass. So now I'm at twelve. All right. Yeah. I'll be going up these counters, and I'll be taking my free draw. I'll be using my farmer. Yeah. No, I didn't have turn anyways. We're only on turn seven. We're playing the Grand Lecture Hall for one. Bra. Mm hmm. I'll abandon to draw. Mm -hmm. I'll be using my draw for my history of education. Activate my, my efficient workflow. All right, and then that removes it. Mm -hmm. Be playing Keldrian Vault. I'll be then be using Explore the Unknown. Put this card into my hand and I'll shuffle. Be playing my Junila. Okay, for two? Yeah. Two, three. Counting cards. Hmm. Well, gentlemen, it was a what? valiant effort. Oh wow! Yep. Told you guys. Got us. But what you did? So what you? What close. you guys? What you guys didn't consider is that I'm. I I have the best RNG in 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 this game. So oh. I'll start oh. off by summoning Tren for three gold. Well, can't you can't see that one coming. It. Man, you probably didn't see this one coming either. And I'll no. play it with for two. What in the Phantom Thieves is this? So I don't know where. Three points. I'll be scoring three points for Tren. No, you won't. Or four points. One, two. Oh, sorry. I thought you were going to say for uh, Elgin. I'm like, you do not. <laughs> and let's see. This scores me points at the end of the turn. So I guess I just went on board ending my turn like that. There's one, two, three, four cards nice. on board that were already here. I'll be scoring eight points for Tren. Oh, man. GG's. Good one, ah! Ivan. <laughs> Got it right from the deck. Yeah. We, I, I did not hardest to shut Junila back. down, and we did. And she was like, my friends are here. They're going to win the game. Yeah. 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 You guys did a hard. great job stalling me for as long as possible. Because I probably mm -hmm. would have won if you guys didn't uh, stall me out last turn. Mm -hmm. Who couldn't say that? Throne. No, mm -hmm. yeah, it was, it, was, it was on you, really. I don't think there was a real way for us to like turn this really well. I had a barbar. I had a I had in my hand. I was going to play the barbarian chieftain. Oh, he has swift okay. and tenacious. I don't know if that would have helped. I don't think that would have helped me though. It's more removal, but tough call. Yeah, because it does have the four, so it, he could help me score. That's right. Yeah, honestly, I've been. I was trying to figure out ways of winning since like turn four. <laughs> yeah. No, I. Kidding. Yeah, that's uh, that's. That's to be expected. No, nah, you are completely right, Elvin, with like targeting me so hard. Cause yeah, I was yeah, I, I was I planning mean, for it. Mm -hmm. Oh no, nah, thank you, appreciate that. I, I also just had amazing RNG because I had no, um, I drew burn, into, like... I turned, I drew into all my champions, all my yeah. uh, unique denizens mid game. And you and... did target me. You did make sure that I couldn't draw out that. Uh, what was my what was in my interactive yeah, zone? The uh, battle cry. Yeah, I had two battle cries, and he got rid of my other battle cry. So then I would have had even more power, possibly even be if I had had the battle cry and the barbarian chieftain. Maybe I would have played the barbarian chieftain. I would have scored, had that extra scoring, and like you know. But yeah, we got there. <sighs> All right, well, that's gonna do it for today's episode of Champions of Meandir gameplay. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Ivan, you've taken taken yet another game this time with Junila. What do you want to say to your fans at home? 
Sir, oh. you've absolutely dominated Unique. these last two weeks <laughs> in combo <laughs> weekly seasonals. Um, Ivan, what is your secret, and how do you keep beating the creator of the game? <laughs> Can you give us your regimen? What's your what's your morning what's your what's your morning like? Is it a hundred sit-ups and push-ups every day? As soon as I wake up, I make sure to uh, open my laptop and make sure I build five unique uh, meander decks and make sure that every single one of them is optimized to the maximum. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, um, I just have lots of fun uh, creating decks and you know. I think one of the real um, strengths of the blue-green combination is the sheer amount of unique denizens you can put on board. As you can see, that I was able to summon uh, three out of my four unique denizens this game, and which scored me an immense amount of points. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great time creating unique decks like this one as well. And that's everything well, for me. What's here at Comba Seasonal uh, uh, 2024, ladies and gentlemen, I give you, Ivan, your weekly champion. Wonderful. Congratulations. Alvin, please take it away. All right. Thanks for the wonderful interview, Mr. George Stanford Porter. Uh, this was a wonderful game, and see you all next time. Bye, guys. Cheers. Later.